Hey y'all, welcome back to Let's Play East 6, Ark of Napish Tim. Last time we beat the boss of Limewater Cave, or the Cave Lake, and this time we are going to head into this hall. I wonder what's on this hall. Well, probably something good. It's just a dead end with a bunch of rocks that I cannot break. Well, I don't think I got nine to break that, so I just say we head back. What? No, no. Oh, no, another boss. It's gotta be. Ah, oh, there's no rocks in the world too tough for my fist to break. All right, now if all goes as planned, to plan, we should be able to break out through here. Huh? What? What? A at all, it's you. It's really you. I'm not dreaming, am I? You really, you are really him, aren't you? You're not some kind of shape-shifting monster of master or master in disguise or anything like that, right? Adol explained everything that happened since he washed up on the Cannon Islands to Doogie. Ha ha ha. Man, you just never change, do you? I figured there was no way you were gonna get kicked the bucket after... That easily after all you've been through. But man, I still can't believe you actually fell into the Great Vortex and came out in one piece. Alright, that makes wings way easier on my end. On the other side of he this, where this that lump of rubble was is an old pirate ship. It took a hell of a beating in the Vortex, but the crew made it out okay. They are one lucky bunch. Well, not like I can talk. Tara's been down in the dumps ever since you fell overboard, you know? It's been... It'd be good to let her know you, you've made it out alive. Okay. I should probably stop voice acting, because it really hurts. Except Boslem. Boslem doesn't hurt at all. His voice is fun to do. Oh yeah, so this is Tara, and she was actually originally introduced in East 5, which is the only game in the franchise I have not beaten. Because it's... Not really that good. Hey, Tara, what are you doing over there? Yeah, I'm just not going to do much of this right now. I mean, we kind of got so much going on, I don't think it's a good idea. You found something in a cave, but I don't know if it's going to get it out. Yeah, it's probably not. I mean, you have to go underwater. Yeah, that's right. Adol's alive, Tara. Oh, yeah, Dogie's here, too. I totally forgot to bring that up. Yeah, you probably remember him from uh, East 1 and 2. Wall Crusher. Who was a bandit found in Darm Tower. She totally doesn't like it at all. Yeah, and this right here is Ladakh. I do not know if he was introduced in East 5. I do not believe he was, judging by the intro to the PS2 version that I now own a copy of, by the way. Yeah, it's been, a uh, I think about three weeks since I last recorded. I had the surgery. It went really well. Um, I'm fine at this point. Yeah, Robba washed up here too. I mean, yeah, the Darm Tower incident. I mean, I'm pretty sure anyone who was in Darm Tower could survive anything at this point. The Roman fleet, that doesn't sound good. Gonna need a boat, all right.
Oh, they can agree. Let's get ready to leave. Fair enough. Oh yeah, and the title theme is playing. Before we head off, though, you actually want to head in here to get... Well, you want to talk to the other crew members, I guess. Huh? Again, I don't know if any of these characters appeared in East 5. I don't know too much about East 5. All I ever hear about is just... Is that it's the worst game in the franchise. And I'm really just waiting for a remake to play it because that's probably inevitable. But yeah, this game seems to have a lot of connections to East 5, despite there actually being a game, despite the fact that the eighth entry actually takes place between these two games. Anyway, I got the Pirate's Firewater there. And I am going to need that later. Not now, but later. Anyway, speak to Leduc. And you'll head back to Port Remorge, which is quite neat. I see. So all you want from us are the materials to repair your ship, if I'm not mistaken. We'd like some food and water as well if you could. In return, we would be happy to give those who want it the right to board our ship. Wouldn't mind getting some of those emails, goods you've been stocking up off your back too. What do you think? It's fair enough trade, I'd say. Hmm. Very well. I accept. Having a proper ship would certainly be a boon to us. You know, I don't even know why I'm giving him that voice, because... Make the preparations at once, Lloyd. As you wish. Because... Bosslam isn't even as bad as the guy I'm giving... Who the voice is based on. Literally. Like, he's not a bad guy at all. Excellent. I think we made ourselves a fine deal. How long do you think you'll need? Less time than you might think. We should already have everything in stock. It won't take long to gather everything together, so I feel to, so feel free to make yourself comfortable at the bar in the meantime. I don't know, that was just the first voice that came to mind, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for the introduction, Adol. It took looks like we'll be able to get the ship repaired after all. But getting through the vortex of Canaan a second time is going to be borderline impossible. We're going to need to think of a plan. Anyway, I'm going to go get me a drink. It's been too long since I last I was last on dry land. You're welcome to come and join me if you feel up to it. Yeah, very well. I'm going to go speak to Terra, actually, because Terra is going to give you a pretty good item. Kind of, I think. Uh, yep, he did. Yeah, he went to go get drunk. Received the seed of power. Nice. You don't have to hide the fact you like me, Tara. It's cool. Alright, next thing. Well, actually, this is weird. I'm going to show this off. You use the wing of Alma here? Wait, huh? You cannot warp here. I don't know if this is leftover data from the P... No, it wouldn't be because this is the original version. Kind of. Either way, we want to warp to the other village. In the original version, you could not use the wings of Alma. Alma to... You can only use the wings of Alma to warp to the beginning of a dungeon. Anyway, I think... The wrong person. You want to talk to this person, I think? Hey, ya brother. You can't fool my nosh. 
And my nosh isn't smelling all. This is, is smelling ale. A kind I ain't savored before. Never savored before at all. Feel up to it, Dick? Pardon with it? I'll trade you a nice little something I found up at the beach. One of my favorites. Oh, I knew you'd come through for me. Let's have a little taste. Go. Oh, damn, this is some strong stuff. Thanks. Now I got another reason to look forward to getting back after fishing. Oops, almost forgot. This is for you. You obtain the gold locket. You'll need that again later. And by later, I mean in like a few seconds. But I'm going to go in here to see an argument I'm holding. Don't try and play dumb with me. I'm, okay, I'm not voicing anymore. I can't. It's been far too long and I remember hearing the voices I was doing. I could probably go through and watch my videos, but... Eh. I don't feel like that. You guys know? Yep. And I'll probably gain nothing. Um... Do not disturb the peace there. That place has nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with me? Oh, it has plenty to do with me. Adol, is that you? Ah, uh, welcome back, Adol. Adol, huh? I'll excuse myself for today, but you can bet I'll come back here when for my answers. I haven't seen those little pests anywhere. Watch yourself. Thanks. His manners were lacking, but he wasn't a malicious sort. Regardless, I am pleased to see you again, Adol. I regret that we cannot offer you a warmer welcome with the festivals taking everyone's time, but our home is yours. I will go and check on the villagers. Could he be? No, I must be imagining things. More importantly, it's wonderful to see you again, Adol. It's almost time for the Festival of Ama. A harvest festival held once a year in this village. He he, you probably saw everyone all in a frenzy on your way here. Isha is out teaching the children how to sing them at the moment. We love to be participate in the festival too. Adol gave a mirror fragment to Ola. Yep. I received a cap of water. That is the second one I've gotten. Made all necessary. Nice. Now we can restore the mirror. Which will result in us getting... Sweet. The mirror is complete. We fixed. Ah. Yep. Yeah, I'm the best, aren't I? I like being the best. Well, this isn't good. Always an impatient one, aren't you? I've long been curious about this ruin, but investigation, investigating could not, could have waited a while longer. Time is money, as they say. Now that I've secured a ship, all I need to do is find a way to stop the Great Vortex. Well, have you found anything that might point us in the right direction? Patience, Boslum. Patience. This winged statue strikes me as something modeled after the goddess Alma. The wings themselves are most peculiar. I can't help but be reminded of a certain pair of twin goddesses. Yep, I can't either. Can't help either. Perhaps this means... Raba. Raba? Enough with being so cryptid. Do you know what those three pillars are for by any chance? They've got some strange bits of paper with foreign scrawls stuck to them. You don't suppose that Adol fellow put them on, do you? 
We'll figure out what those mean in a future game, actually. I doubt it was at all. If memory serves me, those would be the same talisman carried by that black-haired youngster, Geis, as I recall, or is it Geese? I don't know. He showed me them. He showed them to me during the visit. Hmm. So it was that condescending little mercenary doings, was it? Ridiculous. He turns my down my request and has the gall to strut on in here anyway. And to make matters worse, he went around sticking the pits of paper on things like they belong to him. He's not claiming things. Zanzun, Emilio, rip those talismans or whatever you call them off the pillars. Got it, boss. So I hope it's alright. Stop that at once. We don't know what purpose Geese put them on for. I'm not entirely certain that removing them so carelessly is wise. Well, they're going to get in the way of your investigation, are they not? Either way, they must be removed. This just gives me one more reason for doing it. You do what you came here to do and focus on finding some way to stop the Great Vortex. That doesn't seem good. Could it possibly have been... Judging by the statue that was there, they must have been Zimuth Sanctum. Nisha, are, are you alright? You look very pale. I, I'm fine. I just feel a little dizzy is all. But... I'm, I'm okay, I promise. Well, I'll just go and take a nap in my room. Bye-bye, Adol. Oh, Isha, she looks ready to faint. That girl, I don't like where this is going. Why would the mirror show us such a vision? Professor Raba was there, too, wasn't he? I can hardly wrap my head around it all. Yeah, um, we'll go check that in a second. First, I want to head to Port Remorge. Yeah, I hope this video doesn't run too long. Um, I got ten minutes. Okay, so this guy. That, that gold locket you got there, it's mine. I'd recognize it anywhere. I lost it when I fell into the Great Vortex and haven't seen it since. Please, I'm begging you. Would you give it back to me? Yep, thank you so much. The people in that picture in the picture inside are my wife and my daughter. What have I been doing all this time? I've just been sitting here drinking, not sparing a thought for the family I left behind. Thanks to this, I can find I'm finally ready to start acting like the man I used to be again. This is just a token of my thanks from me. Take it. It's yours. The lucky silver coin. This coin increases your critical hit ratio. Okay, next up you want to walk to the Ruins of Lost Time. Not to the depths, but to the entrance, because there's actually something we can get there. I'm going to meet you at the point. Got it. Okay, so over here now you want to switch over to your electric sword thing. And then you want to uh, jump on these platforms. And then you want to land up over here. And then what you want to do... Got it. Now that you're in here, you want to open up this chest. Well, you want to try to anyway. I don't think you really can without, you know. So open up the chest and you'll get the black tabula. Nice. Now you want to warp to the end of the Ruins of Lost Time. To the depths. I'm going to meet you guys outside because it is still a long travel. So I'll meet you guys at the island because that's where we're probably going to do things. The eye guy from the intro who I don't think even has any bearing to the plot whatsoever. Ooh. That's Napish Tim. I'm cutting that whole thing out. Uh, 
All right, we've arrived at Zimuth Sanctum. Nice. I gotta make sure nothing bad's happened here now. To see that everyone, the fairies are back. Zis, Lisa, Jew, Sarah, they're all the keys. You're welcome, my master. Yep, we're too late. So the Roman fleet is now invading. Which is nice. Not really. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Ugh, what just happened? Yep. All right. I'm going to meet you guys back at Port Remarge. All right. The music's changed. And I don't know why the music's changed. But I'm going to end the video off here, so next time on Let's Play E6, we will find out why the music's changed in Port Remorge and why it's so depressing. I will see you guys then.